What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. So in this content today, folks, I have uh, a bypass to show you, an iCloud bypass on the older devices. And that is with Checkmate, okay? So if you've got an iPhone 5S to the iPhone X or any iPad up until the A10 chipset, okay? So any iPad up until the 7th gen or the Pro 2 10.5, Pro 2 12.9, that's both Wi-Fi and cellular as well. So if you've got a Wi-Fi only iPad, is it gonna work? Absolutely, no question. It's gonna work, it is. Um, you may get occasions where some devices like the iPhones won't be compatible with Signal. Some of them won't. Most of them will, but some of you will unfortunately be unlucky. But most of you won't. I assure you of that. So I have an iPhone 7 here, and I'm going to show you uh, in this bypass that it has full Signal and data works as well. Also, Regarding the eye services, I'd like to elaborate on the eye services as well. With some devices, the eye services work, some devices they don't. So the compatibility is a little bit up and down at the moment, folks. But the only way you're going to know for sure is by downloading the software, connecting your device and seeing for yourself. OK, so like I said, I got an iPhone 7. I'm going to show you a full premium bypass where it works with calls and data. And the eye services may or may not work as well, but we'll find out soon. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your browser. And you want to download, go on this website, checkmate.info. Okay. On checkmate.info, you want to scroll down. Bingo, this one here, uh, discover the software. If you're new to the process, read a little bit about it. If not, just go ahead and download. Yes, for your Windows users, it, it's also compatible for Windows as well. So let's proceed in downloading the software. With regards to the A12 Plus services, nothing at the moment, people. But I got a good feeling for 2025, which is a matter of hours away. So Happy New Year. So there we go. You just want to go on that. Double click to install the software. And one, two. So then just simply head over to your launch pad. Here it is here. Okay. Checking device compatibility. Right. Now, if yours says this, you are good. Okay. Congratulations, your device is supported. Once payment has been made, your IMEI slash serial will be added to our access database and you will be able to use the software immediately. Please reconnect your device after payment completed. Brilliant. So, for example, if your device isn't compatible with Signal, what it'll say is, congratulations, your device is supported, and it'll have no Signal in caps, in brackets. So, for example, I've got an iPad 6th generation here, yeah? Which, as some of you know, they do have the A10 chipsets. Now, it's cellular, but it says no signal. So sure, it'll work for Wi-Fi purposes only. But if I try putting a SIM card in there, exactly, not gonna work. So, but in this case, it's supported and you never know, your device could be supported as well. So at this stage, like I said, if you're new to the process, simply go ahead, order the iCloud bypass, scroll down, 
uh, you want to just put in your name by there, put in your email address and simply enter your promo, uh, enter this promo code to get you a discount. That's iCloud Helper 029. Okay, people. 029. Apply the promo code, get yourself a discount. It's not much, but every little helps. So then what you want to do then is simply click buy now. And then you basically, you're presented with an order form. Go through the order form. And it'll look just like this. Just to show you, still iCloud locked. Okay, so now start. And next. Okay, so make sure, do exactly what it says on the screen, okay? Okay, so start, keep hold of them too. Let go of that, keep hold of the volume down. Let go, successfully in DFU. So it'll create the heap spray, enabling it to create the exploit <laughs> sometimes when boot in the bootstrap may fail if it does fail just simply redo it again see so as you can see it's uploading the bootstrap now Sometimes, like I said, it does fail a few times, in which case you just you just do it again and eventually you'll get it right. Sometimes you'll get it right the first time, third time, fifth time, etc. You know, but it's not as bad as Internet recovery for the iCloud lock on the T2 Max. Right. Jailbreak done. Now click on close button to hide this window, then click on the bypass. So there we go. Looks like it worked first time for us folks. So now let's start the bypass process. Okay, start. As you can see, it's on iOS 15.8.3, which is the latest beta for iOS 15. Uh, works on iOS 15, 16, 17 and the only device compatible with iOS 18 is the seventh gen. So if you've got a seventh gen Wi-Fi or cellular, then as long as it's on iOS 18.0.1 or below, it'll work, okay? But if it's on 18.1 or above, not gonna work. Not at the moment anyway, bear that in mind. Okay, so as you can see, thank you for being a valued customer, blah, blah, blah. You know, be sure to leave a review if you want. And so we can now go ahead. Bypass is successfully done. As you can see, we are in the device. So first things first, let's put the SIM card in. Just wait for it to load up a sec. And disconnect it at this stage. Okay, still searching at the moment, and we have signal. So let's turn off the Wi Fi, keep the data on. So, to show you it works, let's make a call. If your query is about the number you're calling from, press one. If the query is on a different number, press two. Yeah, phone calls working. So now let's go on Safari and let's choose, say, Google, accept all. And now let's just go on 
YouTube search. There it is. Data is working. Calls and data are working, people. Okay? It's right there. So now I'll show you that it's uh, fully untethered. So to power off and power back on without the uh, encryption coming back. Okay, so let's power it back on. Fully untethered, as you can see. Okay, next thing I'd like to show you is the fake reset. Okay, general transfer or reset iPhone, erase all content and settings, continue, erase iPhone. So this will confirm that it's not just the newer devices that have the fake reset in play when they're working, of course, but they have now enabled it on the older devices as well, the fake reset, which is a really good feature if you ask me. And there it is, the fake reset is in play. Also go on to settings and then general software update. And the update, the OTA is blocked, exactly what we want. So checking for update, even though it says on, checking for update, not gonna happen, it's blocked. And that is what we want because it's an iCloud bypass. If it was MDM remote management, no. I'd have a different opinion on it. Totally different, actually. So yeah, fully untethered, premium, works on calls, data, iMessage, SMS, etc. as you've just seen for yourselves. Right. Be sure to check out the rest of my content. I've got a lot of content on here. If you have an iCloud Lock T2 MacBook, and it's on the latest Bridge 9.2, Sequoia 15.2. Check the link in the description below this video. That video will be available. The remote management bypass service for silicons will also be available. The remote management removal service for T2 will also be available in the link below this video. Be sure to check out my other items. And like I said, at the moment, not nothing on A12 plus devices at the moment, folks. So just be a little bit patient on that. But we're hours away from 2025. And I can tell you now, something good's coming in 2025. Absolutely, it's coming. If you find this video has helped, smash that like. Be sure to subscribe and share it. Share it far, share it wide. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.